Well, hello. Welcome back to the Two for Murder Mystery Book Tour. And uh, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I love hearing from reviewers and bloggers and uh, readers and writers who have questions. And I will try to get to uh, each question during this tour. Uh, the tour question that I'm addressing today is one that I very often get, especially from new writers, which is what advice do you have for new writers? And uh, I'm going to give you a piece of advice that nobody gave me. It actually took me three books to get this through my head. Uh, I'm married to my husband. Jack is my uh, business manager and he's a business lawyer. And he said from book one, he said, you got to think of it like a business. You got to, you know, well, what, you know, what sells, what doesn't sell, what, you know, what works? What, well, is, is this promotional thing worth it? Uh, you know, and, you know, he wants to crunch numbers. And I was, no, no, I'm a writer. I'm an artist. And as an artist, you know, I don't want to think about those things. Well, it took me three books to figure out that he was right. Um, because, Anybody who is an artist, uh, and by artists I say writer, uh, painters, photographers, graphic designers, anyone who actually makes money at what they're doing, they think of it like a business. It's a business. It's a job that they love. They love it, but it's a job. And with any job, there are things that you don't like to do, but that you need to do in order to succeed. In a, uh, if you're a doctor, you need to deal with insurance companies. If you're a lawyer, you need to keep up on case law. Uh, and it may not be fun. It may be drudgery, but it's something that you have to do. In the case of writing, uh, it is dealing with book promotion. It is dealing with, uh, it's answering emails. I literally only spend half of my time in writing actually sitting and working on a book. Literally 50% of my time working is answering emails, doing interviews, uh, working with tour coordinators, um, analyzing my sales data to see what am I doing book promotion wise that's working here or that's not working there. Uh, it's what I have to do in order to sell books so that I make enough money to live my dream of being a writer and supporting myself as a writer. Uh, and as a, um, you know, I used to have a publishing business. I used to be a publisher. I worked with so many bright, talented uh, writers who wrote great books, books that I thought were worthy of winning book awards. And but whenever the book, as soon as the book came out, they just sat back and sipped wine and went on Facebook saying, here I am, I'm a writer and did nothing to sell their books. Wouldn't even set up websites. Um, and no, it's not fun setting up a website. It's not fun keeping my website updated, but that's what I have to do. I consider that to be taking care of business. I literally get up at six o'clock every day and work until lunchtime taking care of business um, because I think of it as a job. It's a job I love, but it's a job. And only about 5% of uh, writers, freelance writers, uh, authors actually make enough money to live that dream, uh, to be able to say I'm a writer. And I'm one of those 5%. And that's the difference between me and uh, writers who have to wait tables or uh, sell insurance or, uh, you know, or do other jobs, work as an accountant. Uh, that's the difference between me and them it, because I actually do the stuff that's not fun. And it, it's... Um, so, you know, whenever a new writer comes to me as far as, you know, the, like asking this question, what advice do you do give new writers? I say, you know, you need to treat it like a job. Um, as part of that, I would say you have to sit down and actually be honest with yourself. Ask yourself, what do I want to achieve as a writer? Do I just have a book, one book in me that I want to get out and so that I can tell my grandchildren that I wrote a book or 
do you want to make a living and put your son through college, you know, as an author? Um, because, and, and, you know, and it's, it's a hard question. You know, there's no, no, nothing wrong with saying that you just want to have a book on your coffee table with your name on it and say to your friends, I wrote that. Uh, but you don't care if it sells. I've actually worked with writers who that was what they said. They, they said flat out, I don't want to do book promotion. I don't want to do book tours. I don't want a website. I just want to have a physical book in my hand that I can put on the coffee table and tell people I wrote it. That's all I want. Well, then that's fine. That is absolutely fine. But you need to be honest with yourself about that. Uh, I have actually worked with a lot of writers who told me I want to be a best-selling author and I want to make a lot of money. And But whenever it came down to setting up a website, they drop off the face of the earth you know, because they didn't want to do the work. Um, so before you waste somebody's time, you know, like a publisher um, or an agent or a uh, uh, you know, or a marketer before you waste somebody's time, you know, you have to be brutally honest with yourself. Sit down and be honest with yourself. What do you want? And, uh, you know, and then based on what you want, then you know where to go from there. Uh, if you want to make a living doing, you know, as an author, then you need to learn about the ins and outs of publishing and the ins and outs of book promotion. Um, if you just want a book that you can put on your coffee table and tell your kids and grandkids you wrote that, then uh, then go to a self publisher or uh, go to Create Space is really good about that, you know, and have one made up for yourself, uh, and you know, and then and skip the website and the book promotion stuff. Um, but but that is the first thing you have to do is you have to ask yourself what do you want. And if you want to uh, be in that 5% of uh, authors who are able to make a living at what they do, then you need to learn about the business side of uh, publishing and you need to adjust your thinking to, I'm not an artist, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an author, I'm a business person, and this is my job. And once you do that, th then you'll know which direction you want to head as far as being a writer. So I hope that helps and maybe I gave some inspiration to a future John Grisham or uh, Lauren Carr. So, so see you next time.